Good afternoon, everyone. Again, my name is Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, Georgia. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commission Chairman Ramona Jackson-Jones and Board of Commissioners, as well as Mayor Rochelle Robinson and the council members of the city of Douglasville, who have worked collaboratively to sponsor this event. Thank you all for being here to help us celebrate the outstanding achievements of Douglasville's and Douglas County's very own U.S. women's bobsled Olympian, Alana Myers-Taylor. As many of you know, Mrs. Taylor and her teammate Lauren Gibbs won the silver medal in the women's bobsled event at the 2018 Winter Games in Pyeongchang, South Korea last month. This is not the first time Mrs. Myers has won. It is her second time she has won a silver medal and her third overall Olympic medal in her Olympic career, thus making her the most decorated bobsled athlete in U.S. history. It is an honor and a privilege to introduce our next guest, our special guest, our distinguished guest, for this occasion, the 82nd governor of the state of Georgia, Governor Nathan Deal, to make a few remarks. Well, thank you very much, Rick. I am honored to be invited to be here today. This is a very appropriate setting in which to pay tribute and honor to one of your own. Alana, as you can tell from the crowd who is here, that uh, they are indeed very proud of you. They are proud to call you one of their own. And for the state of Georgia, I speak by saying that I am proud to call you a Georgian. We all followed your career. We followed the Olympic Games, and when you would come on the TV, we all were very excited to say, she's from Georgia. And I was dreading somebody from some other state asking me, well, how in the world did somebody from Georgia learn to be a bobsledder? I wasn't about to tell them that we did have ice around Atlanta. <laughs> but you have done a great honor for all of us. You have shown young people, and that's an important thing that you're doing as you come to events like this, and I know many others like this around the country. You are giving hope and encouragement to young people because what you have done is you have taken your athletic skills and you've applied them in an area that Nobody in Georgia would have probably ever anticipated that you would be a bobsled Olympic gold winner, uh, Olympic winner, three Olympic uh, uh, cont contest over three cycles. I, I said, that's 12 years. Uh, I brag a lot about the fact that Georgia is the number one state in the nation in which to do business for five years, but she's covered 12 years in what she's accomplished up to this point. And I asked her, I said, well, what are you going to be doing? She said, well, I'm going to be doing a little touring, take a little time off, and then start training again. So I think she's given me hope that I may have something left in me. <laughs> but I just want to say in conclusion, congratulations to you. You're an excellent example of a very outstanding individual that a local community such as this can take great pride in. And I thank all of you for being here to pay tribute to her as well. Thank you. Thank you, Governor Dale. Thank you very much. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Alana Taylor, Alana Myers Taylor. Hi, everyone. Um, first, I'd like to say thank you so much for putting this on. Um, this is amazing to be able to come home and have a welcome home like this. Um, it's, it's pretty incredible for me to be standing here, especially thinking about what I do on a daily basis. I push bobsleds, so from a little girl from Georgia, uh, from Douglasville, to be pushing bobsleds to have a reception like this, it's pretty amazing. Um, I also want to take the time to thank every one of you guys for being a part of my journey. Um, Douglasville has been my home for the past 30 years, so it's been incredible to be from this county, to be from the state, and to have all you guys share my journey. You know, I wouldn't have made it to where I am, believe it or not, without the great state of Georgia. Um, you know, even though we might have a little ice sometimes. Um, you know, it's not a bobsled state, but thanks to all of you guys, thanks to all my supporters, um, all through 
elementary school, Arbor Station Elementary, Chestnut Log Middle, Lithia Springs High School, all the way up, supporting me, believing in me. It's been an incredible journey, and um, I can't wait to see what the next four years has in store. So um, thank you all for joining me today, and I'll open it up to questions. Alana, how warm is your heart to see it? It's absolutely awesome. Um, even to come home and, and have a reception when I landed at the airport, you know, it was 11 o'clock at night, I'm tired, uh, my eyes are crusted over, but to be able to have that kind of reception and that kind of support, it means the world to me. And it makes it that much easier to do what I do, knowing that so many people are supporting me and encouraging me, um, it's a dream come true. How much longer do you plan on doing this uh, bobsled? So fortunately, bobsled's a sport for older people. Um, our junior age is 26 and under, so um, I really feel like I can be, be competitive for another four years. So going for Beijing 2022, and we'll see what happens. And hopefully, more Douglas civilians and, and more people from the state of Georgia will follow my footsteps. I need a new brakeman for the next game, so we're always searching, and hopefully that tally comes from Georgia. How cool would it be to say in 2022 we have an all-Georgia sled? So. If you guys know anyone fast and strong, tell them to hook me up. First of all, I would just tell them to go for their dreams. Um, no matter what the rest of the world tells them, no matter where you come from, you can be whatever you want to. Um, the biggest thing is, is nobody would expect a girl from Douglasville, Georgia to be a bobsled Olympian, and nobody would expect that to happen, so it doesn't matter what the rest of the world thinks. It only matters what you believe, and as long as you're willing to put your heart, soul, and efforts into it, you'll get what you want. How much did the 1996 game to Oh, it was huge. So um, growing up, you know, right down the road and being able to attend those games and, and seeing the opening ceremonies and uh, going to, you know, all the baseball games, softball games, everything I could and taking it all in, you know, that's when it became a reality for me. That's when I really understood that this is something that I could actually accomplish. You know, I feel like having a, that chance to have a home Olympics and to see it live and in person, it makes it real. It doesn't make it this foreign thing that you can't imagine, that you can't picture yourself in. So hopefully one day Atlanta will host the Olympics again because, you know, it, it started my dreams. and. Fortunately, I was able to make my dreams come true. Did you see yourself an example for kids who watch you at these Olympics? Oh, hopefully. Um, hopefully, you know, people will watch these or have watched these Olympics and have watched what I've done and, and will continue to pursue their dreams, regardless of how far-fetched they may seem. Could you feel the love from Douglas County all the way to Young Chang? Oh, I always feel the love from Douglas County. You know, all the messages, all the support. Thank goodness for Facebook and, and all the social media. Um, my home team from Douglas County, make sure I stay up to date with everything that's going on. Are you the type that goes back and watches the tape a lot? Have you, how many times have you watched it? And Don't watched it? actually have a tape of the race. So I, <laughs> I haven't watched it. Um, I think after the, like, the day after you do your media tours and stuff, they'll show you the last run. Um, so I've seen the last run a couple of times now, and I'm super excited with the last run because I, I know it was my best run. Um, so it fires me up to see that every year and, or every time. And every time I see it, you know, it's what keeps me going and what makes me remind me why I do this. I do this because I love it. I do it because it's an opportunity to represent my country, my state, my city, everything. And I love what I do. And, and that last run, watching it, makes me just want to go another four and train that much harder to get a gold. Which one did you enjoy the most? <laughs> I definitely enjoy this past Olympic the most. You know, um, coming in, it was a lot more obstacles. Um, there's always obstacles every Olympics. Every Olympian will tell you there's a backstory to it. There's so much they had to overcome to get here. Uh, but with me tearing my Achilles a week before uh, we went to the Olympics, you know, that was a pretty big hurdle to overcome. And, and thankfully, I got to share every moment with my husband, Nick Taylor, who's right over there. Uh, I got to share every moment with him, and without him, uh, I wouldn't have been able to win this medal. So it, it was pretty incredible Olympics.
everyone, good evening. Welcome to Arbor Place in beautiful Douglas County, Douglasville, Georgia. It's great to have you here tonight. I'm smiling Mark McKay with News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB and Channel 2 Action News this morning. I am honored to be your master of ceremonies this evening for a very special night in our county. Tonight, we're here to honor, recognize, and celebrate the city of Douglasville's and Douglas County's very own hometown hero. Do it. Alana Myers Taylor brought home the Olympic silver medal in the women's bobsled at the Pyeongchang Winter Games. But I didn't have to tell you that. You already know. And in case you're counting, I know you are. And if you need a count, just look what she has. Look at the hardware right there. Two Olympic silver medals, plus the Olympic bronze from the Vancouver Games eight years ago. Now, Alana, I was in Vancouver in the previous job that I had with CNN Sports. I was a sports reporter for CNN, so that was my last Olympics. I did five, started here in Atlanta. I know Atlanta is a very special place. We'll talk about that in a moment. But I also learned, as a reporter, the bond that Olympians athletes have, not only with their fellow Olympians from around the world, Team USA, but also with their country and their community. And you're about to find out how much your, country, your community and your country, but certainly Douglasville and Douglas County, is going to uh, really appreciate and love you tonight. So let's get started. We begin with the invocation given by Pastor E. John Citizen. Pastor John. Thank you. I'm so privileged to be here tonight, Alana, to honor you, girl. You make us all proud. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to celebrate one of our own. And God, tonight we not only celebrate Alana and her family, but God, we celebrate the Douglasville and Douglas County community. And God, we ask that your love and your peace be upon this community as we celebrate tonight in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Thank you, Pastor John. Please remove your, remove your hats now as we honor America with a national anthem sung by Douglas County's own Alexander High School Mastery Choir, directed tonight by Sandra Chandler. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. Alana, this is your night. You are about to see how much this county, this community, this state, you've seen how the nation appreciates what you've done. Now we're going to bring it back home. Sit back and relax. We begin by welcoming Douglas County Board of Commissions Chairman Dr. Ramona Jones, Jackson Jones. Ramona Jackson Jones. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much, Elena. We are so proud of you, and we are humbled here in Douglas County that you are from Douglasville, Georgia. You've made us proud. I've watched you all the way. When I grow up, I want to be like you, so that tells you I have not grown up yet. But before I go any further, I would like for our elected officials to stand, please. I want to recognize our elected officials. Thank you all for being here. Let's give them a hand. Thank you. 
and to this amazing community, Douglas County and Douglasville, thank you so much. I would like to start by saying, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, Elena, we are honored and we are proud. But before I make another move, I want to acknowledge the, the parents that made it possible for her, her. Mr. and Mrs. Myers, are you here? Can you come up, please, for me? Because without them, this is not possible. They're waving in the back. Thank you so much. Elena, could you come forth? We have some recognition from the Board of Commissioners. Uh, we would like to honor you with a wonderful plaque, and you can feel free to open it. And also, we have a proclamation for you. But I wanted you to open the plaque, if you could. And uh, it is our privilege and our honor to celebrate you tonight and to celebrate your greatness. These scissors. Oh, my. Rick, you put so much tape on it. it <laughs> We'll get it. Well, nails. <laughs> Your nails are like my nails, but we'll get it. Mayor, can you help me by opening this? And I want to give you the proclamation from Douglas County Board of Commissioners. We honor you and we respect your hard work. I mean, I, the first thing I asked Alana when I met her, I said, how cold is cold? And she was in Korea. And Korea is unimaginable in, in terms of temperatures. It's probably sometimes 35 degrees below zero. So we honor you and respect you. And this is from the Board of Commissioners to Alana, and it says Outstanding Achievement Award, Alana My Myers Taylor, in recognition of your extraordinary achievements in the 2018 Winter Olympics and the example you represent for Douglas County. Let's give her a hand. She's amazing, isn't she? Thank you. From the Board of Commissioners. Thank you. We look forward to, tw what is it, 2022? 2022. Let's keep our eyes on her. She's amazing. You're making us proud. Thank you so much. I hope you have a big vehicle tonight. There's more to come. Thank you, Chairman Jones. Please welcome the mayor of the city of Douglasville, the Honorable Rochelle Robinson. Good to be here. My council members, please come up with me. Thank you so much, my Douglasville City Council members. Olympian, oh my gosh, Alana. Myers Taylor, please come up. We're so proud of you. I wanted to just honor you and tell the people of Douglasville, as the mayor of the city of Douglasville, we are so elated that Alana is here and back home and has taken the time. And I told her mom and dad, it's good raising, good parenting. She's so very gracious and kind. And we're actually Facebook friends. And I'll send her a message. And I'm amazed she sends me a message back. But she's so gracious and so wonderful. And we thank you so much. We're very proud of you. And we just have just a few tokens of appreciation to share with you. I have a congratulatory letter, and I will not read entire thing, but it just says that you had to have so much tenacity, will, and character to go to the Olympics three times and not to come home empty-handed every time. Oh my gosh. For a girl who can still do a round-off back handspring that spent 15 years in gymnastics and a college cheerleader, it's so wonderful that you let me touch your silver medal. But we wanted to give you this congratulatory letter, a silver, I have actually a silver um, jury box for you to put your medals in, and a silver globe to commemorate all of your silver, your silver uh, medal that you've won this time. And we look forward to the next four years, and I'll be there cheering you on. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, so we'll stick it all back together. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Robinson. Next, we would like to have Douglas County Administrator Mark Teal come up to the microphone for a few remarks. Hey everyone, 
It's a privilege and an honor to be on the same stage with uh, Elena Myers Taylor. Um, if I could, I would like to ask some of our, our all of our state uh, House of Representatives, if y'all would come up. We have a gift for uh, Ms. Myers Taylor. One more. <laughs> My name is Roger Bruce, and I chair the Douglas County delegation, and I am honored to be able to stand here. I watched it, and I was trying to figure out where do you practice in Georgia to, to do that. You've done a wonderful job, an amazing job. We're all very proud of you. And we wanted to share this moment with you. These are my colleagues. Uh, they all serve in the, in the House of Representatives in the Senate. Where is Odysseus over there? And that's our senator. But we want to just congratulate you and say thank you for making us all very, very proud. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the gifts just keep on coming. Please say hello to Mrs. Marsha Hampton, Douglasville City Manager, for a special presentation. Hello, good evening. Alana, I just want to say thank you, and we appreciate you being a local resident of Douglasville. And as with government, there's always a balance. So we have representatives from our House, and now we have our representative from the Senate, um, Ms. Donzella James. And on behalf of the city of Douglasville and our Senator, Donzella James, we would like to present you with this award. Hi, Hi. you gotta get a hug. <laughs> this, this is like deja vu because the last time you were here, I was able to come and help present. So I'm so proud of you once again. And on behalf of uh, Senator Dugan, who had to go out of town for a family funeral, and from me and all of the legislators that you just met, we'd like to give the, you this small token and just know that we're so proud of you and we love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, it's your turn. Say hello to your Olympic hero, Alana Myers-Taylor. First question, can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, I definitely can feel the love. Thank you all so much for coming out and showing me all the love and support over the past 12 years. Um, it's been an honor and a privilege to represent all of you guys, and hopefully I can do it again in four more. Alana, what does a night like this in your hometown, in your home county, in your home state mean to you? This is absolutely incredible. You know, a lot of you guys in this room right now or in this mall right now were with me from the very beginning, um, from the early days at Harvest Station Elementary. So I really appreciate you guys all coming here and being here tonight. And it's just such a cool experience for me to be up here and sharing this moment with all of you. From Lithia Springs High School to standing on three Olympic medal podiums. How does that happen? <laughs> A lot of hard work and support um, for myself, my parents, and my team around me. So thank you guys so much. Um, you know, growing up here, uh, didn't have the greatest weather to train for bobsled, but had the greatest weather possible to train to become the athlete I am. And I'm really appreciative to all the people who are there on my journey along the way. And your journey in a lot of ways with the Olympics, Alana, began here in the metro Atlanta area. Am I, not, uh, am I mistaken in saying the 1996 Olympics meant a lot to you? Having the Olympics right here in Atlanta meant so much. Being able to see the athletes up close and personal really made it real for me and really started in my dream of becoming an Olympian one day. And it was at that moment, seeing everybody come into Atlanta, the love and support that those athletes had, um, it really made it real for me and made me want to accomplish that as well. You found your love of your life in this sport, your husband, Nick. How much 
has his support for you, your family support, meant in this journey? You know, he's a bobsledder as well, so to have him by my side every step of the way means everything to me, and to have him there. There he is. Say hello to Nick Taylor. I know you're so very proud. Oh, absolutely. But I believe we're all super proud of Alana, so thank you for having us here. Oh, you're very welcome. You both can, you both can answer this question. There's probably some young people that have watched you. Any advice for future Olympians here in, the, here in the crowd tonight? The biggest advice I have is to just go for your dreams. Um, regardless of what anybody else tries to tell you, regardless of what the world tries to tell you, you can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. It's up to you to decide you want to do it and go for it with all your heart and with all your soul, and you can accomplish anything. Nick? I don't think you could beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a good husband. <laughs> Finally, Alana, everyone's wondering, will you be back in four years' time, back in Asia? The Olympics go back in Asia in 2024 in Beijing. Will you be there competing for the United States? You know, I love what I do. I'm still able to compete at a very high level, so we're going to go for it and see what happens. Four more years. Douglasville, Douglas County, Georgia, the entire state of Georgia, the metro Atlanta area, and of course the United States will be pulling for you. One more round of applause for your Olympic champion, Alana Myers-Taylor. Welcome home. I would like to invite the Douglas County Board of Commissioners up to the stage, please. I want to invite the team up that complete me, and I would be remiss to do so. And I would like each one of my commissioners, there's not many, to just say a few words to Alana. And I'll start with Vice Chairman uh, Kelly Robinson. Would you please say something to Alana? Congratulations. Thank you. Welcome home. All of those things. Um, the biggest thing is that I'm so proud. I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm personally inspired. So please continue on down that path. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And, and we have our District 4 Commissioner, Commissioner Ann jones Guider. Yes, Alana, I was just so tickled when I saw all the people in the restaurant watching you uh, from your community, and I stayed up real late to watch you, too. So I'm just so th thrilled, just thrilled and excited for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much, Commissioners. I appreciate you all your support. Really do. There we go. Big round of applause for everybody involved in tonight's program. We want to thank Alana and excuse her from the stage because all of the gifts that you got means you have to get busy. But I think you want to get busy. A meet and greet, a photo, uh, autograph session downstairs in front of Sears. That's where you can line up the kids, adults. So get in line. We're going to let Alana and her team head down there. And in the meantime, we want to thank you for being here tonight. I want to take a moment to thank everyone who participated in tonight, honoring our own two-time Olympic silver medalist. We give a round of applause to the city of Douglasville, the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, the Communications Department for putting on tonight's event. Special thank you to Rick Martin, and as we bring this program to a close, I invite you downstairs, next to Sears, you will line up for an autograph photo session with Alana. She will stay here as long as supplies last, meeting and greeting and enjoying her country, her community, her city, her folks, her hometown. It has been my honor to be your master of ceremonies, Smiler Mark McKay. Thank you very much and enjoy your evening. <laughs>